Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a really fun summer manicure using acrylic dip powder. I am going to start with this bright pink color called Hot Lips from Ritzy Dips. I'll have everything linked down in my description box below if you're interested. We're going to jump right into it. I'm going to let you go ahead and watch um, the steps that I'm doing. I have slowed it down so that you can see everything in detail. Really quick way to get fun summer nails. So I'm going to let you guys go ahead and keep watching. As I'm finishing up this last uh, layer of this pink color, you're gonna see here in a couple seconds that I forgot to film the two nude colors on my two middle fingers. So um, I did end up using Renewed Vows, also by Ritzy Dips, um, on those two middle fingers there. It's just gonna be like a base layer to my design that I'm gonna be doing here in a moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I file and shape my nails during this process. Everything has been encapsulated in clear already. I used glass from Ritzy Dips and I've already activated everything and let it sit for the, about one minute. I'm gonna show you right here how I actually shape my nails. It's like one of the biggest questions I get is how do you get straight edges? How do you get the tips of your nails so square? The key is to make sure that you are reshaping your nail during this step. So you can shape your nails in the beginning and they can look great, but then as soon as you put on the dip powder, it's gonna kind of change the shape of your nail. So this is the key is to reshape during this step right here. So I'm gonna let you watch along. It's all real time. I don't have anything sped up. So hopefully this will help you know how to shape your nails in the middle of doing your manicure. So I'll let you guys watch this and then I'll be back. And then after getting the shape you want, what I like to do is rough up the top of my nails. This is gonna level everything out, so I'm gonna show you how I do that also in real time here. 
I'm taking the softer side of my file and I'm going over the top of my dip powder. When you're new, this can scare you most of the time because it looks like you're completely ruining the dip powder. You're not. You want to make sure that it's kind of got that white look to it where it's all roughed up and scratched up. Um, that's going to be the key to making sure everything's level, especially if you are new and have applied it a little bit bumpy. So get it to that shape and then you'll be good to go. So now we're going to jump into the fun little nail design. I am using some gel liners that I bought off of Amazon and I put them on a little uh, dish and then I got this dotting tool which is also from Ritzy Dips and I'm just making some random designs. At first I kind of thought I was going to do a flower and then I decided no. So I don't know. It ended up looking like odd shaped spots in the end. But this is how I did it. It wasn't anything crazy. It's kind of better that it wasn't super perfect because it kind of played into the, the look I was going for. So I ended up doing pink and blue so you'll get to see that. Once I was done, since it is a gel, um, once I was done with the pink and the blue, I did cure it for 30 seconds so that it would be, you know, set in place. And then once I was done with that, you'll see I did a gel base coat afterwards and a gel top coat that will seal it all in and finish up the mani. So I'll let you guys keep watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more like this or anything else you would like to see, please leave it in the comments below. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Bye.